comes to problems with lawns, well, it usually gets down to poor soil preparation when planting out or use of an inferior turf variety. And it does pay to do your research. Both Nev and I have grown many turf varieties over the years, but we found two clear winners. Now, this beautiful backyard is absolutely impeccably designed, and one of the base colours to the whole thing is this rich, dark green lawn. Now, it is a very special variety. It's the world's most popular buffalo turf grass. It's called palmetto. Now, keep your eye out for it because it has some very unique qualities. For a start, it's incredibly good during the winter time. Most turf grasses lose their colour. This has remained a vibrant green, which is really important. But one of the best things I love about this is the incredible durability and low maintenance. Now, you only have to mow it a few times a year to keep it looking fantastic, which is about half of what you'd normally mow a buffalo grass variety. Now, the other thing about it is its ability to withstand incredibly hot, dry temperatures. Now, it's really important in our environment and it can look fantastic right through summer using only a fraction of the water that most other turf grasses would use. I've been trying to find everywhere a flower head to show you what it looks like on grass. It's basically, well, a silky thing that sits on the surface of the grass. You'd think that it was, well, just some silk blowing across, but it's actually the flower rich in pollen. Now, the reason we can't find it here with palmetto is it has a notoriously low flower head count. And it's good news for you if you suffer things like allergies such as, well, asthma and even hay fever. Palmetto is also hard wearing, so it's ideal for people with pets and kids, no matter what their size. Now this is called zoysia grass, and it's a very special form of zoysia grass called empire. Remember this, it's gonna change the way we have lawns. You see, it requires half the amount of water that most turf grass varieties require to look great all year round. Most importantly, you only mow this about four times a year, so the maintenance is absolutely minimal. It's more of a fine leaf grass than a buffalo, and as far as hard wearing and a great green effect, well, during the summer, it's brilliant. It does lose its color. It has just a little bit during the winter, but to be quite honest, I love it because it's such an easy care grass. Now, I've got to admit, I've made a few mistakes with my empire. I've applied too much fertiliser and I've actually mowed it too many times because I was treating it like an old fashioned cooch lawn. So mow less, feed less, and your empire will look fantastic.